students select and use digital tools to plan and manage a design process that considers design constraints and calculated risks. When I first started with Seaperch, I actually used the scientific method, which was successful. But once I learned more about the EDP, which stands for Engineering Design Process, I followed the cycle of how they would make the whole product work. Especially with improvements in Imagine, that's something I really wanted the kids to think about. Like, hey, what if I did this? What would be the outcome? It's the process of how we create our ROV, which is a remotely operated vehicle. So our control box got water inside of it, so then we had to research what we had to use to waterproof the motors. So the process just keep us unchecked and organized. They're not limited to anything. I give them the instruction, here you go, run with it. And whatever direction they go, I'll guide them. So one year we'll say, okay, we're gonna pick up objects. The next year we're gonna open up gates. This year's topic is about the environmental challenge. Basically, they're gonna learn how can we help clean up the ocean? What kind of tools can we do that? They're able to learn these skills and how to be a project manager, basically. If they fall off track, I'll get them back on track.